Good morning, this is Rick. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, I'm sat here having some breakfast. We're going out on a day trip uh, today and you guys are coming with me. So I'm just sat here. It's quite early in the morning. Um, I'm just having my breakfast, which is um, bacon and eggs with some butter. And I've got some sausages cooking in the uh, the grill right now, hence the noise. Um, but today we're going off on a, a planned day trip to an English heritage site. So it's time to go, got the camera gear all charged up, unpacked, got my keys, got my water bottle. Right then, let's hit the road. So this is the point in the video where I was supposed to introduce you to Alex and introduce the video. And for some reason, my camera setting went over to time-lapse. So I've got no sound and this whole piece of video footage for which you're watching each individual still only lasts about five seconds. So um, you're gonna have to take this introduction as read, but uh, we are at Barbary Castle in Wiltshire and uh, we're going to go up and have a look around and uh, see what it's all about. So we are looking at a uh, hill fort. We are here. We're gonna climb up this rather steep slope here and then we're gonna go and have a quick look around the hill fort. Uh, which has lots of um, ramparts and yes, I think uh, that's the right term, isn't it? ramparts, yes, and um, it's rather impressive actually. And it basically lies on something called the Ridgeway, which is one of the most ancient paths in Britain. Yeah, one of the not necessarily one of the longest, but it runs from Avebury all the way to somewhere in Oxfordshire, isn't it? It's somewhere or I've it's somewhere I've been, and there's a bit of a story about okay. that as well. So. Oh, pray tell! Oh yeah, well, when I did my little podcast a couple of years ago, right, there was an episode called "Evening Officer, Look at My Huge Camera Lens." <laughs> okay, and we were in the L Grand. Well, I say we. I was in the L Grand, and it was a really, really wet, horrible day, and so I'd gone out to do some filming. Uh, got absolutely drenched, got in the camper, took my coat off, hung it up, and of course the windows steamed up. Right. And this copper was up there and he knocked on my window thinking I was up to no good. <laughs> and as he opened as I opened the door for him, I had um my camera mounted on the back of the headrest um with a great big zoom lens on it. <laughs> And so as he opened the door, he said, for all the things I was expecting to see, sir, that was not it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. It was, it was priceless. <laughs> but can you remember the name of the place? No, I, I've got a book of the Ridgeway. I could look it up. Right. Um, we'll have to, I'll have to insert the name of uh, the Ridgeway, but it starts at Avery Stone Circle, I do believe, and then goes to this place, which I'm showing now. Um, and uh, all along the Ridgeway are all sorts of ancient things, um, including Barbary Castle. Now, the old Ridgeway track runs to the side of it, but there's a more modern Ridgeway track that actually cuts right through the centre of Barbary Castle. But you didn't know that. I didn't know. I, I read it this morning and I really should have worn my wellies. Yeah, I've got I've, my boots in the I've car. I've got my nice trainers on. <laughs> And it's I'm very shoes. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear! Look how nicely polished they are. <laughs> that may change by the time we get back. But yeah, I've been doing a bit of reading up on this hill fort, and they, there's evidence they reckon of up to uh, forty. I don't say dwellings, but like huts uh, that may have been here at one point. Right. Now the Iron Age was the period from, well, the Iron Age in Britain started about was it 600 A uh, BC. Uh, and went through till when the Romans came. You're now at the western entrance to the Iron Age hill fort. Uh, variety of objects on the, 
uh, on the site can be seen at the museum down the road. Uh, oh, I'm worn out now. You're worn out. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I can't even film that. That's so faded. I can't even okay. read it. I might have to do a little voiceover. Cue some B-roll. Here's a bit of voiceover. Barbary Castle is an Iron Age fort located in Wiltshire, England. It's one of several hill forts located along the ancient Ridgeway Path. It's believed that the site was first occupied around 2,500 years ago and was then used during the Roman occupation of Britain. Archaeological investigations have shown evidence of a number of buildings including a village or military garrisons around that time. The site is situated on Barbary Hill, a local vantage spot which, under ideal weather conditions, you can see as far as across to the Cotswolds and the River Severn. It has two defensive ditches and ramparts surrounding it, and in the outlying areas there are various ancient earthworks including round barrows and Celtic field systems. Um, but yeah, these ancient roads, they were, they're rights of way that have been rights of way forever, which means that this path would have been trod by like Saxon armies, Roman armies, possibly Roman garrisons uh, here as well yeah. at one point, because when the Iron Age pitted out, which was when the Romans came over, which was like, but I think it was, I'm sure it's 43 AD they invaded and they began their occupation. Then they cleared off in 410 AD, which was when the Saxons started doing their thing. And then this place became known as Wessex. But anything beyond that, I'm not really too clued up. So I'll have to hand you over to the voiceover guy again. After the Romans left England in the early fifth century, the site was abandoned for several centuries. However, in the 6th century, the Saxons began to settle in the area. The Saxons were a Germanic people who established several kingdoms throughout England, including Wessex. In the 9th century, Barbary Castle became part of the Kingdom of Wessex. It was used as a defensive stronghold because it sits on a hill and provides a good vantage point of the surrounding area. Barbary Castle remained an important site throughout the Middle Ages, and it was used for various purposes over the centuries, including as a hunting lodge and military barracks. Just listening to the, the silence, I'm stood in the middle of an ancient Iron Age hill fort two and a half thousand years ago people were living here and when you just listen you hear it so quiet apart from the slight hum from the motorway way over there in the distance it's really really quiet I think the, the walls the uh, the ramparts all around are shielding everything here from the wind and, and apparently these were a lot higher back then so it would have been pretty quiet here apart from communal life that was taking place and I always like to think when I come to these sorts of places I sort of almost like shut my eyes and I can almost tap into the the world that was happening back then and because it was real, I'm stood right now in a place where two and a half thousand years ago, for a long time, for the whole of the Iron Age, which was at least 500 years, 
people were here. They were living here, they were trading here, there was commerce, and it's just quite magical, quite special to be able to stand in a place like this and just close your eyes and just tap into, I mean, purely it's purely in your own imagination, but you can imagine people were stood right here where I'm standing now, living their lives, going about their day. What kind of day were they having? You know, what sort of, what sort of lives did they live? Were they happy people? Did they, you know, what were their concerns at the time? Were there um, barbarians at the gates or were they living relatively peacefully? I'd imagine all of that would have happened. And it's almost, oh, you, if you're quiet enough, you can almost sort of hear the communal life going on. This place probably was bustling. Now it's quiet. But yeah, I recommend it. If, if ever you have the opportunity to, to visit a place of ancient history, just, just for the, the experience of standing in the same space that people stood in two and a half thousand years ago and lived their lives, there's something quite special about it. And I, I don't know what the word is. I can't, I can't describe it more than that. That sense of, almost like there's a sense of connection with not, not so much the, you know, the, for me, I'm not really interested in, in you know, what, which king won this and which lord run that. I'm interested in the real people, the normal people, the everyday folk who just happen to live here. I don't know what I'm saying, but it, you just, you, I don't know, I just find I get that sense of connection when I come to these places. But it, it's just so rich in history and you you when you come here you feel that history it's just it's just quite wonderful yeah. hello hello <laughs> <laughs> we're now you probably won't see this in stereo but very dangerous i've got rick's camera <laughs> Come back, come back. <laughs> so Rick has got his uh, his 360. So I've not seen one of these before. It looks far more complicated than it probably is. But uh, so it's like, like a sort of a dome camera that does a 360 shot. Is that how it works? Yeah, it, it's got two lenses that point out 180 degrees to each other. Right. And they're massively like fisheye lenses, and they join together. So you have ah. this full. Incredible. So. But then I'm so in the last century, you know. <laughs> Alex is making his video. Don't want to disturb him. You alright? Yep, yep, you're good. You're good? Yeah. We're good to go. <laughs> We, we, we've got to separate and do our own little videos, otherwise you'll, you'll end up watching two identical videos, don't well, you? Mine is very different this time. It's not like Swanage at all. Mine is Good. very different theme. Good. I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Yes, you're so. not in it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. I look forward yeah. to seeing that even more now. So, well, we're going to go off and have a coffee. And uh, Alex has very kindly bought some pasties, but unfortunately I can't have one um, because I'm strict carnivore at the moment. I, as I promised, in order to get out and about and do things, I have to go strict carnivore. Uh, so I've been doing that since last Sunday. So pretty much from now on, I'm going to have to stay strict carnivore in order to be able to do stuff like this. Right, and I'm okay. it, like now the, the warmer weather's got here. Well, it's, it's, I mean, it's not fully arrived, but I mean, I'm really quite warm in this jacket now. Although I have been walking a lot. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, I, I'm intending to get out a lot more starting today, and here we are. So uh, there we go. Anyway, um, you don't need to see us sitting there drinking a cup of coffee, so I'm going to sign off for this video. So do feel free to leave your uh, comments in the notes below. Um, and if I do come to places like this, if there's any specific thing you'd like me to point a camera at, or any hints or pointers as as 
the way you want me to present the videos I would be very very happy or any ideas you've got that I can incorporate into any future videos I'd uh, appreciate that but uh, that is it for this video so thank you for watching have a great rest of the day and I will see you in the next video until then take care <laughs> that was nearly rather spectacular